And we're back. A nice little rigger uh, right there on the stand. A collection of floor mats. A uh, reflective sign at the back. A little shopping cart. A squirrel guard for your bird feeder. A nice little pet gate. An RV brush. And the two wheeler does not sell, but there's a safe we'll be selling. Get a uh, speed bag on the stand. A couple extra bags there as well. Uh, a beautiful quilt rack. Look at that. There you go. If you're into making quilts, you may need that. It's probably uh, roughly eight feet long. There's a weight bench out here in the front. A oh, weight bench. I don't think we get any weights to go with it. A collection of uh, padded chairs. Great for your uh, kitchen or dining room. A couple of high top tables. Uh, some uh, fishing accessories right there. A uh, bait bucket. Oh, that's a towel cutter. A couple of car ramps. A little uh, baby uh, crib deal there. Nice uh, entry door for your house. Some windows. Look at that. Brand new windows. A uh, card table with four chairs. You got a little towel saw and a collection of tools on the ground. Headboard, footboard, mirror it all in the back right there. A nice little uh, rattan chair recliner, bed in the bag on top of it. I think it might just be a bed topper though. There you got a uh, plasma bike, great for the kids. Emily was riding that around earlier. Uh, nice little uh, chainsaw there. Very minimal use on that bad boy. Uh, Dayton oil fired 110,000 BTU heater. It's getting cold today. I don't know if you'll need that or not. A hummingbird portable fish finder. A uh, collection of tie down straps. There's some fish measuring sticks. Collection of paddles. A whole tub full of chemicals. There's a camo coat. And more fishing accessories, including a brand new Mercury propeller. Fishing, fishing, and more fishing by the bag, by the box, and a, uh, another bait bucket. A little glass top table, a couple pieces of art, a two piece china cabinet. There you go, a couple uh, nice lamps sitting on top, collection of tripods, and we're still trying to find a home for this entertainment center. It does need to go tomorrow, so uh, come prepared to take it all. We have a couple of gas cans down there at the bottom. All kinds of good hardware and a little indexes, a couple of tubs of Christmas, and a uh, big uh, vintage fire axe right there, a little lockbox, a sewing machine, a couple of cabbage patch kids, space maker uh, container, some bungee cords. We'll get down the side over here where you have a DeWalt 12 inch double bevel compound miter saw in the box with a box. There it is right here on top I believe. A uh, collection of old tools, some old frames, a uh, nice little shoe rack there, a little uh, metal stand, rolling stand, a metal frame chair, ironing board, a uh, fireplace, Needs a back reattached, but that's no big deal. Electric uh, collection of suitcases, an old trunk down there at the bottom. You get the round metal leg table. Another beautiful china cabinet. Look at the pattern on the glass there. Two piece, mirrored back, easy moving. Uh, nice file cabinet, vintage looking file cabinet. A collection of clothing with the advertising on, including. Uh, U.S. Postal Service, Bruco Company, not sure what that's about. Planted chair, you get the big truck, uh, square table, uh, nice little, I think that's a recliner, maybe not. Beautiful red chair, little office chair, another round table, a sofa table, couple chairs, another stool, uh, white chair. A uh, couple of uh, wing backs or a wing back and a recliner and another easy chair, another recliner, a couple of uh, good uh, wooden chairs, need a uh, cushion for the front, front chair there, nice little office chair, appears to be leather like, a uh, little uh, stroller if you need to take the uh, kids or the dogs for a walk, there you go, you get the uh, table with the leaf, beautiful desk, extra parts on it, a table base, another wooden chair, rigid uh, shop vac, uh, table, they're uh, fixing up for you. Still get the seat clamp on, a little uh, needle point chair, another big shop vac, shop vac, brand shop vac, and coming down this way, the uh, Samsung dryer here at the end. It's electric. You get the uh, bookshelf, 
with a glass on top. I have no idea what that piece is. You get the little uh, plastic drum, a piano looking for a good home, a couple plastic chairs, you get the fountain, a uh, tractor seat, a little spreader, collection of boat parts over there on the ground, uh, steering cables and uh, probably throttle cables, uh, a couple of uh, more boat parts there, a gas tank, you get the high rise seat, the low rise seat, another plastic gas tank in the back. Uh, here's a uh, some kind of lift right there. I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Whatever you like, I guess. The Vulcan stove. You get a collection of metal on the ground, uh, aluminum and more. You get the, some uh, the fabricated uh, half inch boards, a couple of two bys. You get uh, more lumber, more lumber, lattice work, piles of lumber in the back. You get a table and three chairs, a collection of saw horses, a mini fridge, actually a mini or a mid fridge, not the mini, it's a mid size fridge. You get a table saw on a stand, heavy stand. Uh, I'm not sure what's in the box. Some felt paper, roofing paper. Uh, something structure EPS for insulated siding, a, a job work box, a nice uh, concrete for a double headed axe, the blue rhino propane, uh, get some more wood down here on the ground, skipping to the back, you get a collection of uh, metal drums back here, we'll be doing choice out of those, a nice wooden desk, a couple or three bookshelves with a china cabinet in the middle, Greenlee job box. Hopefully they got her emptied out. I'm afraid to look. Oh, they didn't. All kinds of good paint in there. Paint in the Greenlee job box. You got a little uh, end table. Yeah, here we go. Hose reel. You got uh, a couple of jugs of felt back sheet and carpet adhesive. A nice uh, homemade bench. You get a uh, trailer hitch extender if you're trying to haul a canoe or something in the bed of your truck. Nice little metal artwork piece, a metal uh, bench, a collection of fishing poles here in the back. There you go, we'll be doing choice out of those nice poles. You get the uh, pole right there with the V at the end, of some kind of push pole. You get the rubber fish net, never seen what a rubber. Another log fish pole, look at that, it goes way up there, way up there. You get the uh, mattress box spring with a headboard and footboard combo. A little toter there for your uh, boat motor. Uh, some kind of wall, metal wall art, I think it is. And I think we'll come around here by the plants. A nice little metal table there, vintage all the way. It's a collection of plants on the ground. Some bird, birds, we'll be doing a choice out of the birds. You get the uh, gold hose. Uh, it's a garden hose, I guess. A kid's bike. Suitcase down here, the plant man spinner. We have cactus, we have uh, lemon trees, banana trees, beautiful flowering plants, and some kind of uh, fruit tree, citrus, I believe. Some flowering baskets, vining baskets, more flowering baskets coming down here. Chicken art, we have chicken art galore. Uh, vintage uh, holiday right there, Christmas, all kinds of ornaments and wreaths and lights, baseballs, we get uh, suitcase right there, stereo uh, with the uh, speakers, I believe it is, uh, I can't see the name on it, uh, nice little basket, cozy soft bed set, a couple of uh, suitcases, some blue ice for your cooler never need to buy ice again got to keep that uh, drinks cold nice little cord for your rv tektronics in the back we want to uh, investigate a little further see what's in there all kinds of good screws look at that screws bolts nuts washers you name it you get a uh, machine stand in the box a compact heater a collection of painting claws Holy cow, look at all them in there. A whole big bag. Collection of uh, storage units right there. We'll be doing choice. You got a little toaster oven. A, uh, I have no idea. Get a toaster and single slice toaster. Very rare. Kitchen items, more kitchen. But look at all the great stuff in there. Holy cow. And uh, coming down, they covered it up because they didn't want you to see it. 
you have to come out to the sale to see what's under the plastic. You got the Kirby back down here in the end. It comes with a couple boxes or more of attachments, a big boat propeller, some uh, Bimini top parts, all kinds of good boat parts in these boxes. If you need to have a boat that needs some work, uh, come down here. We'll sell it to you a lot cheaper than you give it at the boat store. Steering wheel, a couple boarding ladders, some seat stands, some rope, a couple more seat stands. They, uh, that goes in the side of your boat right there to put all your hardware in. You get the uh, carver panel uh, right there with all the switches in for your boat. Uh, I think that's another one there of some kind. You get the stainless steel steering wheel, another steering wheel. You get the uh, motor parts, the bands, band clamps, uh, power box. You get the lights, electrical, all kinds of good electrical in there. We'll hit down row 9, see what we can find over there on row 9. I haven't been down there. It'll be new to me as well. Here we go. Get a little rider table here at the end. You get some uh, bar clamps, a nice little uh, stand right there for your umbrella, metal gas can. You get a uh, rod digger right there for your uh, donuts and your irrigation system. Uh, fan on a pole. Numerous boxes. You get the uh, cutoff saw, all kinds of vintage tools in there. Vintage tools and more tools and uh, router tools and craftsmen. Something in there. Uh, I guess we're not going to let us see it. There you go. 7.2 volt. Now you got the uh, blue and white chair. Kind of looks like a comfy chair. You got the coach light and the Pioneer system. On down you got mugs, candles, Disney type, all kinds of Pepsi bottles. Holy cow, if you sold them by the case or the six pack, we got down here Pepsi and Coke both. And coming on down, you got Holiday, Holiday, a collection of books right there. I believe it's cookbooks or more. All kinds of good uh, pans, a collection of art. Here's pots on the ground. All kinds of good pots. You get a uh, bench, all kinds of good lumber down there. Uh, lumber on the ground. You get a couple more job boxes and a wheelbarrow and a metal stand. Coming back to row number seven. Row seven. Tommy's hard to work, sort it all out. Say hi, Tommy. Hi. Hey, there he goes. There you go. Vintage kitchen items, coffee grinders, and more. You get a big uh, box of pitchers and grapes and more pitchers and bowls and beautiful etched glassware. All kinds of good treasures in there. Here we got some uh, Levi jeans, just your size, just your size, a whole stack of them. Nice little bag, glassware by the box, more uh, kitchen items, and uh, oh, look at the porcelain urinal, more porcelain pans, and you got uh, aluminum pans down here. Look at all the great aluminum pieces. We'll be doing choice out of that. Copper and vintage tools. Copper fittings, you got uh, chain binders and more, all kinds of good stuff in there. Cast iron pans down here on the end, cast iron pans and uh, cast iron uh, pieces right there for the legs of your table, I believe. You got the metal gas can, you get uh, files and hose ends and uh, a whole bucket of tools and some uh, chain parts. Yeah, bed and bag, you got a collection of pillows, some uh, uh, artificial flowers, a whole bag of sheets, a metal something or other right there, not sure what that is. You get the hose in the uh, bucket, you got a 10 tier narrow shoe rack, spot scrubber, pet carrier, flashlight over there. You get a uh, vintage looking radio reproduction, a collection of oil lamps and uh, anniversary clocks and more. Oh, here's a whole jug of Ranger Pro herbicide. There you go. If you got a bunch of weeds, you might need that. A little uh, hanging basket and coming down, you get the fish in the, in the box and vintage postcards. That old camera, a vintage trade set which is great. Be sure to check that out. Some old uh, uh, truck repair manuals and uh, gold and silver 
jewelry. You got sheets and blankets and pillows, a couple spare wheels down here for your trailer. The tires uh, uh, aren't really usable, but the spare wheels coming down an extra. Uh, you got towels and traffic lights. Interstate signs, the Wizard of Oz, more uh, street signs, and more Disney. Pocus, Pocus, a couple of nice blankets, a Kodak cooler, uh, vintage signs, and movies. Holy cow, the list just goes on and on. All kinds of good vintage tools and more. Remember, the gates open at 7.30. The auction starts at 8 a.m. And we'll be selling fast and furious. And don't let me forget to tell you, we're selling three boats tomorrow as well, as, long as, as well as a uh, Harley-Davidson Softail Heritage. We'll be selling all kinds of vintage china in here, more china. And I'm uh, not sure what this is right here, but... Uh, well, check that out when you get here. Tommy can uh, call me, can direct you. Coming up, row five. You got the uh, lamps, books, Disney books, and more. Look at the beautiful gold, gold uh, dinnerware. A set of uh, dishes. It looks like Lennox, and it is Lennox. Couple of vintage bottles, Mickey Mouse picture cards, and Mickey dishes, and Mickey mats, and. Everything Mickey you could ever think of. That old typewriter. You get the Avatar. A uh, little bu Disney bucket there with a towel head. Stained glass wannabe. Couple candles. You get the snowman and the tree. Made out of beeswax, I believe. Uh, nice uh, Disney collection there. You get the Mickey Mouse. We'll do a choice out of those. A couple bottles of soda. Recipe books. Disney bowls. You get the Lego ship. Lego ship. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of cat. It looks kind of cool. You get the uh, Mickey Mouse. Um, hmm. Mickey Mouse something in a box. There you go. Limited edition figurines. Mickey art. You get the uh, cool looking uh, Santa art and more. All kinds of uh, all kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies are coming in again to the uh, Disney items that Phil brought us in. All kinds of good linens and uh, vintage items in that box, tools and more, kitchen, more kitchen. Be sure to check out Carl's pictures. Uh, he's taking them even as we speak. A couple of nice bookends, some vintage soda bottles, baseball cards. Look at all the great baseball cards. We'll be doing them by the box. A couple old suitcases, an old hamper, some kids' boots, and kids' shoes. Not sure what that is. A couple of uh, old typewriters on that side. A uh, nice green vase. You get the uh, pretty girl in a lamp. Uh, and see what else. You get the wooden hand car piece there. Three brand new chandelier hanging type. Lights. The first one's LED pendant light. The next one's a four light chandelier. And down uh, below, I think it's another four light chandelier. I'm going to run over real quick, get the picture of the boats. I tell you, we have a collection of animals on the ground here, too, and away by all kinds of good animals and metal art. Uh, and here we go. We get a ranger. Ranger bass boat, 90 horsepower motor. It does need a little work on the motor, but uh, great looking boat. Nice wide platform, great to fish out of, and it is still registered till the end of the month. You get a uh, low aluminum boat, nice strong boat right there. I think it's 16 footer, has a 20 horse. Four stroke mercury, electric start and pole start. I uh, got a cooler in there that we may take out, but there you go. Get a spare tire and get the electric uh, motor on there to raise and lower the anchor. Uh, just a great all around fishing platform. Great for the rivers or lakes. And another vintage boat um, on a trailer, probably from the. Uh, Late 50s, early 60s, I would guess. Look at that. Great boat. 
no title with this one, but uh, nonetheless, great looking boat. And uh, let's go back to row. Oh, the uh, John boat also has a cover, and those are the uh, bows to bows to uh, keep the cover up off so the water runs off. And yeah, we'll come back up here to row number five. Hang in there a second. To all those who come out Saturday, we appreciate the uh, the support. We had a good time. Sold most of the uh, items up there. Yeah, here we go. We get a collection of bottles, uh, vintage milk jugs, and more on the cart right there. You get a, a mattress with a double box spring and a mattress pad on top. You get a couple of kids trades with a, a snare drum, a couple of metal racks, and yeah, coming around here, glassware. Disney, all kinds of good Disney on that cart, and uh, Christmas on the bottom. We have uh, Disney movies, all Disney VHS movies on that shelf. We have Disney signs and more on that shelf, as well as the uh, showcase collection. Down below, more Disney signs, and we get the wall, all kinds of great porcelain uh, music boxes. We have two carts full of these. They need to find a new home, so we'll be selling them tomorrow. There you go. Be sure to check them out. Somebody's going to get a great deal on those coming down row number five. Row five. Wait. Or he did five. Let's try five and a half. Five and a half. Don't want to miss that one. All kinds of great glassware and more of that in. A couple of nice aluminum pads. You got a crock pot. A uh, Mickey sandwich maker. Make that too. A Mickey cookie baker. A Mickey toaster. A Mickey crock pot. You aren't a real Mickey fan unless you have all these. A Walt Disney sign. A couple of Mickey Mouse cutouts. A calendar. You got some covered uh, dishes there. Stands. Uh, dictionaries and uh, cats and and uh, more Disney. More books. All kinds of great pieces on there. And uh, coming over here to row number four. Row four. Say hello to Carl on the way by. Hey, there he is. We still have some stereo equipment left. We'll be selling tomorrow. There you go. All kinds of great stereo. A couple of watering pitchers. Baseball cards. Holy cow. Look at all of them right there. A collection of baskets. A collection of artwork. Great uh, art for my local artist. A collection of clown art. Cloud art. If you're a cloud collector, you need to check that out. Some floral art. Some more clown art. Nice little stained glass light. You get a uh, quilt and a basket. Uh, a couple air nailers. Some Budweiser. Uh, coming around here, you got the kitchen. Kitchen and more kitchen. Etch glass. You got baskets and CDs. A whole box of CDs. A box of chemicals. There's a uh, more kitchen and lamps and uh, vases, a CD player, a couple more lamps, another lamp, a couple of uh, couple of glass bowls there. Here's a collection of uh, silver serving spoons or silver plate, I believe. A couple of uh, nice birds and uh, some more enamel decorated. You still have the uh, little head there looking for a hub. You got the bell. There you go. A little green art glass bowl. A vintage flowers. You get some uh, seashells in there. The candle holder. Uh, lamp with a funny looking light bulb in it. I'm not sure what the heck that is. Driftwood. Oh, it's a fish driftwood. Kind of neat. A uh, little box there. Lamp shades. Kids. Books. Vintage uh, artwork and photography. You still have the uh, giraffe there and uh, motorcycle artwork. You got a uh, couple of uh, good puzzles, signs, backgammon, dishes. Look at the boot and shoe collection. There you go. If you collect these, you don't want to miss this sale because we're going to be uh, we're going to be selling fast and and uh, tomorrow so you can. Stock up. Here you go. You get a, a nice clock. 
a little wooden box, a popcorn popper, some uh, statues, and a little golfer guy. Three or four bags of linens. You get uh, modern world books, uh, CDs in that box. You get the uh, household chemicals in there right out of the bathroom, I think. Looks like cameras in that box, a little crock pot. You got a globe and a doll tree topper, actually. Yeah, here we go. More silverware, Tupperware, marbles. You get the little, uh, little red head there. Uh, more kitchen and pots and pans. And uh, generic set of dishes. Coming down this show, you get the dog and, and cups and toys down there. Uh, coming on up, you get a little sander, uh, pet carrier, a couple cushions, a TV. And we're going to buzz through here. Uh, some kind of a single burner trail scout propane stove with a couple of bottles of propane. Might need that if your electric goes out. George Foreman cooker. You got the knives, more knives, more knives. Sold by the box. A uh, collection of Corel, some uh, corn dishes, more fancy dishes there, pots and pans, lamps, framed art, a uh, collection of bottles for some reason. We still have those. I thought they sold last week. And coming up here, we have a bunch of clothes on the rack. Clothes on the rack. We'll be doing choice out of there. And here's a Harley I promised to show you. Beautiful mauve, and uh, I guess they call it off-white color. Low mile Harley. And uh, see what it says. 2007 model with 32,000 miles. 2007, 32,000 miles. Runs, drives, great, sounds great. There you go. If you're in the market for a Harley, you don't want to miss that one. And a collection of beer steins. More baseball cards. Holy cow. If you're a baseball card collector, you want to be here tomorrow. You want to be here. And uh, see what we can find out here, Mr. Ken working at all kinds of costume jewelry. We have a, a collection of skeleton keys, some uh, uh, tire ashtrays, tire ashtrays, there you go, he's still sorting out of that tub. Uh, Reed and Barton Christmas countdown calendar, you get the old ship's wheel, great to hang on the wall, a collection of Disney nutcrackers, not one, not two, we got five of them including a Grinch nutcracker, a collection of uh, tools we made new choice out of there, and coming around here to the front, uh, a tray lot of uh, vintage uh, measuring sticks pulled up. Uh, all kinds of good collectibles in there, a whole trade lot of lighters, all kinds of good lighters, and you get the shavers and more in that tray, all kinds of good jewelry down in the box, and sunglasses and more. Oh, look at all the vintage coins from the 1900 to 1896, Indian pennies and more. You get some uh, nunchucks, some Disney rugs, and over here you have a knife and some uh, ammo clips for your gun and more. So be sure to check it out. Around the back we have Hummels on the top of that shelf, as long as some vintage china. Uh, and the bookshelf would be selling as well. A little uh, two-piece bedroom suit, I think it is, with a mirror. There you go. TV on top, some vintage artwork, uh, framed photos on there, and some uh, dishes in that cabinet. Looking good. And the white cabinet.